Hi, this is Sarah Scamser, and I'm full-time faculty for landscape horticulture um, at South Seattle College. And see, we have a few people interested. If at any point you have any questions, either put them in the chat or um, just go ahead and ask, because usually someone else may have the same question. I've been working in horticulture uh, quite a long time. Oops. Okay, so we actually, horticulture is a pretty diverse um, field, and there's a lot of different ways that you can take it. So this represents propagation, which is one of the things we do at in our program in the greenhouse. And then going to do this. Then this also, this is part of a landscape. Um, project last year. They were installing trees, new trees in the front of the arboretum. We have about a five acre arboretum that operates as a lab. So we do hands-on work there. And so horticulture, in, it's really about um, working with cult, the study of cultivated plants. And so we propagate, we grow, we design, we install, we maintain uh, all different aspects. Some of the classes are irrigation, um, landscape design, a uh, installation project where they take one of the landscape designs and implement it. So designing, implementing, maintaining, and I, I felt for a very long time that as since we are becoming more and more urbanized that we're kind of the keepers of the green and it's not just the visual, it's also the benefits of the greenery in, um, in the city areas. People actually do much better where they have more greenery around them. So very diverse study, field of study and employment, and there's more and more what they are terming green jobs that come up uh, in working with different organizations and municipalities and government and things like that. So uh, entry, you just, how do you start? So we're in West Seattle. We have the space to operate a landscape horticulture program. Uh, so where we're going now is there are a lot of jobs and more and more there have been these jobs have been turning over that have been busy for a really long time that have been occupied for many, many years. Uh, things with parks department and landscaping companies, both landscapers that design and install and uh, growers. Uh, annuals. Plant materials. Let me see if I've got no. a chance. Okay. Um, so everything about horticulture is really about light, temperature, wind, water, views, noise, and pollution moderation, with emphasis on pollution because they our plants do a lot more air cleaning than we would expect. Um, so part of what we do here is also propagate, grow, and market plants that we've grown in the greenhouse and grown on in the nursery. Uh, we identify plants, we design landscapes with them or redesign landscapes, install, maintain, uh, manage plant health and diagnose issues of plants in the greenhouse and the landscape. And this is one of my favorite parts, we're outdoors. Not for all of the classes, there are some lectures that go along with it. And um, we are beginning to like hybridize a little bit more just to make it more accessible. And hybridization of courses differs from instructor to instructor and course to course. Uh, some things work better than others. The labs, of course, we do on campus. Um, and so landscape horticultures, it combines both art and science. And 
uh, it's a real balance between physical and intellectual work. It's not just the hands-on physical work. We're also learning about the plants, learning to identify them, learning how to um, maintain them long-term, pruning and uh, design. Uh, there's guest speakers. We take field trips sometimes that uh, are appropriate to the various classes. I took one of my classes to visit a greenhouse, um, a local greenhouse, and it's which is actually about 12 or 15 greenhouses. But um, in the first year, there is a requirement of an internship. You can have a, you can get a one year certificate or a two year degree. And the internships are really beneficial in getting to experience before you actually get a job. Uh, sometimes they're paid, sometimes they're unpaid. It just depends on the, where you want to go. But of all the times that we've had worked on relationships, worked on uh, internships with different people, there's never been anyone that's turned it down as far as the employer. Okay, so some of the student projects that we do in the Arboretum, there's not too many new gardens, but the gardens are redone. Um, so garden design, installation, and garden renovation. The Arboretum has been there, oh geez, almost 50 years now. It's a great area to, the neighborhood loves having it there. Um, there's also some hardscape construction, uh, irrigation class where you can install, maintain, repair. And then annually, we have a pruning class each winter, which is a great class. And it's some skills that you can take directly from the class out and start making money. Um, we sell the plants that we grow in the garden center and it's really open just in spring and the students work in the garden center for those sales and um so you you actually get to follow the plants through that you have propagated so here's a our reading project from a few years ago now this is what it looked like before and this is newly installed. And you can see the irrigation class has installed drip irrigation into the plantings as well. So it gets um, well watered. And this is another section of it. This is a project that happened last spring. This is the construction and irrigation and design instructor. And this is part of his class. And they redid this project from that had been um, almost completed a few years ago, but they got to go in and redesign and um, renovate and install last spring. And here's another view of it. It is annexes the Rose Garden. And if you haven't been, it's called the Transition Garden because it's moving from one spot to the next. And if you haven't been to the Arboretum, you should take a look. Greenhouse. This is our greenhouse. We have the one greenhouse and it we propagate woody plants from cuttings, some seeds, annual and perennial plants from seeds. And uh, the annuals include edible plants and then we sell them in the spring. This is some spinach from last spring. Also indoor plants. So it's it's uh a lot of things going on in one space. Here's another view, that's the cold frame next to it. And then this is where some of the edibles go. These are in the gardens outside the kitchens over in culinary. And we get the starts and, or we grow starts, not, not all of them, I, we don't, we try to grow whatever they need. And then they get planted out here. Okay, so the pathway, um, if you do the two years, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure why I have these in this order, sorry. So 
really the first year is a one-year certificate with four quarters. And this is a, a real foundation in horticulture, foundational knowledge. I've been in the industry, oh my gosh, 50 years, 40 years, I don't know, a long time. And I'm still learning, which is, I think, always there with plants. And I'm always looking for what I can learn. Um, but the first year gets you plant identification, some experience in the greenhouse, arboriculture, which is the study of woody trees and shrubs with the emphasis being on trees, pruning um, soils information through the greenhouse class and um, the plant ID classes, plant health care. Uh, we also do with the plant health care, we also do a class on weeds, which are very important. Um, and landscape maintenance. And what this uh, presents to a potential employer is that you have a starting point in horticultural information and that you've actually committed to some goals and completed and um, included in this first year if you haven't been to college before and haven't compete, completed these classes, um, part of the college experience is the state requires the computation, calculation, and writing. Yeah. English, business math, and a psych class, psychology class. Um, so typically, employment is in. Landscape, either landscape build or installation, landscape maintenance. It can be greenhouses. It can be indoor, working with indoor plants. There's indoor plant maintenance companies. Um, there's all kinds of sizes of different uh, installation companies. And so indoor, outdoor, large scale, small scales, decks, you know, in containers. Uh, it's also an industry that lends itself very well to self-employment, that it's really easy. I love what a student told me one time, and she said, you know, I went to this job site, and I came when I said I was going to, and I did the work, and went back the next time, and all the neighbors were, like, asking for reference, <laughs> asking for her name, so she got a lot of jobs out of it basically if you show up. And it's because it gives us the personal care that you might not get with a corporate organization. Um, so full-time is one year, four quarters. The uh, academics classes are in the summer. If you already have your English, math, and psychology, then you don't need to you already you're only, you're going to complete in three quarters, and that's twelve credits a quarter, which is three classes. Um, and then the first year is the foundation for the second year. So it's the first year credits, which are currently fifty two, and then you have another forty credits in the second year, which brings it to ninety two. So seven quarters. Um, it's designed so that you can enroll in any quarter. Um, and out of sequence is not ideal, but it certainly works. We work with that. And this is uh, just kind of a general, because textbooks change, prices change, but just an idea of how much it'll cost. There are scholarships available through the foundation for the Seattle, Seattle, um, Seattle colleges, all three. So what does a graduate end up doing? They could be designers, they could build residential or commercial landscapes. Those are two separate, quite separate areas. Um, landscape, grounds maintenance or management could grow either a greenhouse, more tender plants or outdoor plants, irrigation technicians, and this is something that has that pays quite well. Um, arborists, 
and they specifically focus on trees. Uh, public gardens, park, Seattle Parks Department, Seattle Public Schools. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities there, cities, counties. Um, and many own their own small businesses. And that's a, a way a lot of them start. They may work for someone else. Uh, and I, I, we're all stewards for the land. And so it's really important and we can help keep it, it green. Um, wages vary quite a bit. And I think it's more starting more summer 17, but it's, it's, we just got a newer one, a little bit smaller company, but it was going to be 20 to 25 an hour to start. And, um, and then up to 35 and actually the benefit of city are you know municipalities governmental agencies is that they usually have um, benefits included okay so i'm sarah scamser i'm full-time faculty and program coordinator and you can contact me here i check email frequently the advisor for our program is he actually advises for a few of the technical programs and uh, his name is Evan Aho, and um, so you can contact him. So if you have any other questions, uh, there'll be additional help available today. Now, I, this I think is 4.30 to 5. I think it's afterwards. You can always contact me if you need advising or have questions about the landscape horticulture program. You can attend full or part-time and full-time the way the program is designed is 12 credits per quarter, um, three classes, some quarters it's 14, some it's just 12. Uh, our classes are designed so that, or arranged so that it's kind of easier to work and go to school so one day a week, and sometimes you can actually get two classes in in that one day a week. Oh, uh, and depending upon the pandemic, which hopefully we are moving out of, um, we have some online and um, hybrid courses. We don't offer as many courses in the evening because the industry really is uh, functions during the day. So <laughs> most of our classes are day classes. Uh, most students work while they're going to school. And if you need to know, it's not heavy on equipment, but there is a certain amount that, you know, you're going to need pruners and loppers and you should have some warm clothes and things like that. Anyway. So does anyone have any questions? Seems to me. Uh, well, I have Hi. a few questions. Uh... Oh, no. Let's see here. Kahari. Is that right? Uh, yes. Hi. I'm Kahari. Uh, Kahari. I'm okay. A prospective student. I'm in, enrolled and um, I was actually looking at the classes today. And okay. I, um, well, I had a few questions. Um, so it's broken down into certificate and the associate. And yes. The associate, the difference between the associate and the associate transfer just if that you plan on transferring to a four year afterwards? Yes. And actually what they did is they they changed it so that they're all there. It's always kind of a transfer courses. They decided to make all of the psych English and um, math, the five credit classes that will transfer. Okay. It's just a change the college made. Have you been to college before? Uh, yes, I have. And I submitted my transcript today. So for, oh, great. Um, okay. Yeah, I sent in my official one today for like the math and the English. Oh, great. Uh, so that's, that's out the way. Um, and so they allowed me to, you know, look at the courses. So is the 100 classes all for the first year and the 200 classes all for the second year? Yes. And thank uh, you for recognizing that. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, I have I'm wondering if, oh, it says we just have 40 seconds remaining. If you email me, I can send you the sequence and a typical annual schedule. 
And okay. if you didn't catch my email from this, you can catch it. You can um, go online. Gotcha. All right. Thank you so and much. And I'll be happy to send that to you. And then you can, if you have any other questions. Yeah, of course. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Any other questions? Oh, this is what I want to do. Oh, hi. Maggie, no. Okay, sometimes people are shy about it. Oh, do we have? Oh, it shows time remaining 39, four. I don't know what that means. Um, 18 minutes on my screen. Okay, so I'm going to pull up something else then, if you will. I meant to do this. I actually have one more question. Sure. Um, so are the certificate and the associate um, programs both eligible to receive uh, like workforce funding? Yes. Okay. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was just the one year, but that's great. <laughs> No, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, that's not my area of specialization, but I know that I have students completing their second year with funding. Perfect. Yeah, I have some meetings next week to hash out all the details. I was just oh, curious. Okay. So if you're um, on campus and we have classes, you should wander around to our area and take <laughs> right. a look. Um, so I'm this is, this doesn't really show it very well, view. So basically the one year is this. So you'll take three classes each quarter. Um, the only thing that's different in the spring, it, the one credit is an internship, which is usually done off campus. There's a few internships on campus, but you can see. And then if you've taken these classes, then. And so, um, yeah, this is the there are a couple of 100 classes that are for the second year. There's three actually. We shuffled the uh, curriculum a few years ago, a couple of years ago, just before the pandemic. And um, so some of the numbers don't quite sequence, but it's actually we've we revise curriculum just to meet students' needs. Students change over time. And so the other thing, this is a typical schedule. And so in the fall, you might take, oh, this is last year's fall plant ID, IPM, arboriculture, if you're in year one. So we scheduled the classes so they're not uh, overlapping with each other especially within a year. So the first year classes don't overlap. And I have one student now who's been um, <laughs> working and took a things out of sequence. So his numbers are really jumped. But um, any, any other questions about the classes? I mean, it's still like some, some projects and, um, you know, I mean, the design classes, you have do designs and then uh, in the other, in the diagnostic class, we do additional research. So there are projects that are related to the classes, but uh, it is a lot of hands-on as well. Oh, I have there's something in chat. It can take things out of sequence um spring plant id yes you could take that in the spring and uh small business most likely as well because that is online um sometimes it requires the instructor's permission to do so but at any point i'm the only full-time faculty and so if adjunct or part-time faculty if you don't hear back from them just contact me because i can probably get through um, and then Evan, if you work with Evan, he's great. Um, you'll get some more information. Yeah, I always try to accommodate people out of sequence. So this is what's up for spring practicum, spring ID, plant problem diagnostics. 
Uh, I try. Oh, yeah. Capstone is the implementation of the designs from winter quarter. Oh, planning and design. That's what the design is. Um, and then landscape. Actually, I think small business for horticulture is all online is what it's gone to. Do you either, do any of you have a particular area of interest that you're, that you want to pursue? Lots of things, lots of directions to take it. Um. Sorry, right. people are usually quite shy in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank well, you I for speaking up, Corey. Oops. I see some responses in the chat. Um, ah, okay. Um, landscape design, small business. Okay, landscape design. One of the considerations is you'll probably be doing landscape design as your own small business. And the other thing is it's you probably start out doing installation and maybe maintenance as well because it really only takes one designer for a large company. So um, I just like to put that out there and it's kind of a cautionary statement, but we have plenty of graduates that run their own design build businesses. And love it. Yeah, so it works really well for small business. And yeah, I teach people how to grow things. I guess I went through too fast. No other questions? Oh my um, gosh. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, great. I, I was the one who mentioned landscape design, the small yes. business. Um, so in the two-year program, do the courses help equip students to kind of start their own small business? Um, yes. Like the kind of logistics and administrative side of like setting all of that up and working with contractors and... Yep. Um, and yeah. running programs and things like that. Um, running programs. I'm not sure what you mean. Like that. learning programs. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if like AutoCAD is taught or some kind of other like. Design no, we went from program. AutoCAD to Dynascape. And now we're kind of going to the, the issue with that is the cost of someone they get out of school and how do they uh, handle the cost of. AutoCAD or the Dynascape program, which is what's commonly taught. And so I've uh, been doing hands-on design, I mean, like hand drawing, and they're absolutely lovely. I was in the design room yesterday, um, but it's all about like how to plan out a design. And, and the person that in, teaches this class is a, uh, has run his own landscape design build business for, I think it's probably almost 30 years now in West Seattle, out of West Seattle. And so he brings lots of personal experience and can really help people uh, figure out just what's going to, what's going to work well. And the business class is typically just kind of figuring out what you need to do and how to do it. Um, one person took it and said, well, now I know what my boss goes through. <laughs> uh, and, but yeah. Sorry. Which which class is, um, is there a specific class that focuses on design or is it a set of classes? It's a set of classes um, because, oh, let me get, let me get the design, let me get that. So it is, what it has, it, is residential landscape design. And then um, there's an intro to landscape construction class, which is critical to have. And then um, capstone planning and design and capstone implementation, and then the small business class. So there's, um, and th these really need to be taken in sequence because it's something that the first year you're getting a foundational education and the second year you do more implementation and applying of applying the information that you learned in year one. 
But I will say the design classes are definitely uh, sequential. The others you can flex a little bit. Although one student, yeah, didn't take the ID in all the first year and in design class was struggling because they didn't have quite as much plant information. But um, got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, why do I have it there? Eight minutes. I suppose we could finish early. So uh, we have quite a few graduates working at University of Washington Grounds Department, and uh, a couple of them working over at the Center for Urban Horticulture. We have graduates with the City of Seattle uh, working both within the Parks and Recreation Department and in um, offices. There's one that's doing all the educational for the people in the industry through the city of Seattle and another one that does all um, used to, I think he's moved on through to a different job. Um, just planning for the discover at discover park for all the presentations that they do. Uh, we have graduates working at uh, Kubota gardens, which is part of the Seattle parks department. And our probably our largest group has been people with running their own businesses. A few growing, not that many. I think we're getting to it. Anyway, oh, I should say it's a very nice uh, group of people. And students actually get to know each other and work with each other on the projects. And so it, there's a lot of camaraderie and ages run anywhere from 18 to, well, I think the oldest we had was about 68, but um, it's a little bit younger than that now. And what's great about that is you get people from all walks of life that bring experience and different types of information to whatever you're working on. So it's really, it's good. Anything else? I don't know where we are on time. I guess I could just select leave breakout room. Are there any other questions? Yeah. Hi, this is Maggie. Um, hi, thanks, Maggie. Thanks for all this information. Um, sure. Lots to think about and process. But uh, as far as next steps for the um, or for the internship. Who is it you that would would provide more guidance around that or is it the advisor? So the internship, the advisor, Evan, probably not. But if you're um, and it's really kind of designed for people who are in the in the program and they've taken a couple of classes. And uh, generally what we've done is if someone's interested in a particular area that we just have them check with them and see. I believe everyone should be paid, but not everybody has funding for that. And it's just 55 hours. So it's not like you're forfeiting a lot of, you know, if it's unpaid. Um, and it's so helpful in gaining experience because a lot of times people will get out of school and be, they're a little uh, reticent to <laughs> take, you know, take the plunge. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's one of the advantages of, of, like handing off. The other thing that comes up is that there's a parks department usually hires temporary part-time for the summer. And that's generally where they hire their long-term people from because they know they know them by then. Um, but there is an internship coordinator, the um, David Duche, and uh, he works with whatever faculty is the mentor, which would probably be or be me. And I can help you look if you have a particular area of interest. Usually someone has an idea what they're thinking. Great. Okay. 
It's fun. I wish they'd required it of us. I did one. I mean, I did work for a company before when I got out of college. And I think, I think that, oh yeah, we're getting to that point. It's, I don't know what the time remaining, I think it's talking about share. It, it, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On my screen, it, it says like about four minutes remaining. Okay, so mine's stuck at like 847. <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, yeah, I must have spoken too fast because I usually have plenty to say. And feel free, like I said, to contact me. I check email often and um, I've been teaching here for a very long time and kind of know the ins and outs of all of it. And usually I'm the one that writes the any curriculum changes. <laughs> so. Um, did we have someone else join? I don't think so. Yeah. Are you all in Seattle? I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in Bitter Lake area. Oh, you're I'm just a little bit south of you. I yeah, don't I'm in uh, South Seattle. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, so the that's one thing about like if you're just going to take one or two classes you're not coming to campus five days a week to or four days a week just to complete the two classes you can usually do it in two days a week one time years ago a student says could you switch the schedule because my days off are tuesday wednesday and i've taken all those classes um the hybrids that i'm running now instead of being on campus four and a half hours we're on campus three hours and then we use Canvas shells to provide information for the program if we're doing online quizzes or any kind of documents that we might hand out. And um, mine have presentations in them as well that I lecture from. And lectures are sometimes in person and sometimes online. But I found it's, it's a different world post-pandemic, although I don't know if we're post. We'll see. So I don't know. I don't know what's with my. I thought it. Oh, maybe they went into somewhere else. Yeah, no, it's really nice group of people. That's why I like it so much. Out, out, and the instructor that teaches pruning and arboriculture is an arborist who runs her own business. That's Layla Sweden, and then the gentleman who teaches um, lands landscape management is uh, Mark Pollock, and he has run his own landscape maintenance business for quite a few years, and also is the Arboretum coordinator at the school. And he teaches just the one class, landscape management in spring. But you actually get to take care of a specified area in the Arboretum, so it, and have a little bit of freedom with what you're doing with it. So you get to experience it. And even if you're going into the design, it's very helpful to know what it's like to do certain aspects of it. It helps with timing. So you know how long it might take to do something. Anyway. Well, I hope to see you all in classes. I don't know where it, this is so funny that you can see time and I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe because I'm sharing maybe because it's in a different spot yeah yeah well we have like 15 seconds left so thank you okay everything. nice to we're meet you we're probably gonna get booted out yeah <laughs> okay take care thank you so much thank, thank you, you.